Manhunt for an Oklahoma suspect wanted in a deadly crime spree came to a dramatic end. Michael Vance Jr. was killed last night in a shootout with law enforcement officers. A sheriff was hit in the gunfire. Vance had previously shot two other officers. Police say he had a hit list with what appeared to be more intended victims. David Begno is in Butler, Oklahoma, near the scene of the shootout. David, good morning. Gail, good morning. People across Oklahoma were fearful, afraid of where this man was going to go next. He killed two members of his own family, shot law enforcement officers, and then posted on social media warning of more random attacks. It ended right here on this county road in rural Oklahoma where we are this morning. Behind me, beneath the fog and in the distance, is a flatbed truck. And our affiliate News 9 in Oklahoma City reports the man was driving that truck, shooting out the back of the window at highway patrol officers as they pursued sued him returning fire and eventually killing him. The manhunt ended right here in a gunfight with law enforcement officers in rural western Oklahoma. The violent crime spree of 38 year old Michael Vance is now over. Authorities say Dewey County Sheriff Clay Sanders spotted Vance in a truck and pulled him over. They exchanged gunfire. The sheriff was shot in the shoulder and elbow. Vance took off but was tracked down 25 minutes later and killed in a shootout with Oklahoma State Troopers. It all started Sunday afternoon. Authorities got a tip that the fugitive was hiding out near Hammond, Oklahoma, after a car he had stolen was spotted hidden away under heavy brush. A farmer uh, discovered a vehicle in this field, a uh, vehicle that come very close to matching the description of the uh, vehicle we've been looking for. Michael Vance is suspected of shooting and stabbing to death his aunt and uncle, Ronald and Valerie Wilkinson. That was eight days ago. According to Vance's arrest report, he attempted to sever his uncle's head. When authorities went to find him, Vance shot and wounded two officers. This is more intense than what I thought it was going to be. While on the run, he posted live videos to Facebook, threatening to attack more people. What's up, y'all? Letting y'all know, look, this is real. See, that's a gun. That's the real deal. Over the eight days that Michael Vance was actually on the run, authorities were telling people across the state that he was infected with AIDS and he was trying to use that to actually infect other people. Nora, as the crime scene behind me is being processed, the suspect's body is still at the scene, but state officials want people to know the threat is over. Mm, what a strange story. All right, David, thank you so much.